umthembile umungameli nombuso wakhe ngathi ngalokho ngithi singaqeki singakhombi imini ke niyambona manje wenzani awulula umsebenzi awenzayo Hello there guys and welcome to Daily Update. It's a very interesting weekend that we are coming from. From Jacob Zuma being asked to sing and dance for the white Afrikaners as he was addressing them while fighting for the vote to the ANC. They arranged an event where uh, Figile Mbalula is speaking to the artist. And after he was done, an ANC member goes on to sing when Zen Zuma at an ANC event and you can just see that there's there's no discipline among some members because they forget where their bread is buttered they go on to sing uh, songs of another leader if that's not enough we see that uh, the 10th commemoration of uh, King Tinizulu in KZN Ramaphosa was there King Misizulu was there Siboniso uh, Duma was there and we see something very 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 extraordinary that well if you look at it it was not expected the prime minister of amazulu chula siso teles goes on to speak and now he's going off tune trying to speak about mtolo the anc and it looks like it was planned over the week and as he was about to say something very strange that we were actually waiting to hear there goes Sboni Soduma standing up, grabbing the mic. When I'm sitting down, I'm looking at the issue like, well, the fact that uh, the Prime Minister was about to go off tune, this is not a political gathering. The fact that he was about to go off tune, it was not right. So for Sboni Soduma to stand up and grab the mic, if it was just something else where they're just at a gathering that is not really highly important. I would have understood that you did well. But the issue here is that he is doing it in front of the president, in front of the king. He's not wrong to do that. But the manner in which he intercepted those things that were coming became the problem. He was at the right all along. And as soon as he grabbed that mic, he became a wrong guy. Damaging uh, that already damaged image of the ANC well we can forgive him what he said but what goes on after was very strange because he went on further when the event was over they interviewed him live on TV asking him about the whole event and the guy just didn't care Duma went there to say that well uh, Putelezi is a prime minister but actually in the constitution we do not recognize a prime minister so he's not recognized. He's not shaken about the fact that uh, this is someone that I grabbed the mic from. Because he's a prime minister and we don't recognize him, I don't feel the need to say that I am sorry. I don't feel the need to say that I was wrong. He wasn't wrong at the first place by trying to do what he did because he was trying to protect the image of the ANC. But what was wrong is that it is a gathering of the king. And what further becomes wrong is that you are not apologetic. He makes the whole issue about himself instead of looking at the bigger picture saying that, well, we are heading towards the vote. Good conduct puts you at the right place. So for us is to apologize and say that, well, we didn't like what was coming along, but we apologize for our conduct. But he didn't do that. The arrogance that you see, which further takes us to the debate of who is really going to win the case at end? Because the ANC is scoring on goals left and right. The ANC is becoming the Maguire. Scoring on goals. Now as they are doing that, it is becoming a problem because the MK, as you could have seen, Jacob Zuma interacting with the Afrikaners, it is becoming a formidable force because now they know that once the ANC is scoring on goals, we have a big chance of saying that let us take this position, the number one position. As we are speaking, there was a poll that was issued uh, regarding the, the votes, the elections. And as you can look at the poll, it's quite interesting. <laughs> Yeah. 
So the poll, uh, it was uh, released. It says that the KZN vote looks like this. 35.6% uh, MK, 20.9% IFP, which, well, I could agree with that. But what I don't agree with is the 13.6% DA. Nobody speaks about the DA, but it's, it's above the ANC. And the poll goes on to say that 13.1% could go to the ANC, 10.6% to the EFF, and 62 to other. As much as Paul doesn't really say this is the final product, but we must look at that number one, MK. MK is a formidable force in KZN. And the way ANC is conducting itself, it is further legalizing that which people are speaking about that the MK is going to take over. Ramaphosa was there. We don't know if he reprimanded uh, Siboni Soduma. Because they were gathered at another event. They look all lovey-dovey. What Ramaphosa should have said is that we don't really accept, we don't really uh, uh, condone what we saw there. We condemn at the highest order that which took place between Duma and Mutelezi. And without even pointing who's right, but he should have at least voiced out his opinion. But by keeping quiet, He's making sure that the next premier of the KZN is not going to come to the ANC. On goals after on goals. You can see that the ANC is panicking. The only option that could be used to win this uh, KZN province is the fact that if they win that battle against the MK to use that Condoleezza's name, it could be a win for them. But if they lose it, it further grants the MK those needed votes to govern KZN. At this point, the ANC is just losing further and further the KZN. And if you lose the KZN, you go on to lose other provinces, you are buried. The image of ANC is very important. Each and every party is trying to destroy that image, is trying to paint them as a wrong party. For them is how they react in order for the people to know whether we are voting for them or not. Such reaction doesn't guarantee that the ANC will gather the support of the people. It is very vital that the party sits down. And as we see it, it's such, it's such a shame that no leader is trying to stand up and say that we need a good governance, we need good behavior. What they are doing is just like playing football, they are all over the place. And it's a very, very, very big problem for the ANC. If they are not careful, it is bye-bye to the KZN. They are no longer going to have a premier in the KZN. They are not going to have a premier in the in the Western Cape. They might not have a premier in Gauteng. Those three provinces, once they, they are combined and ANC loses them, it is over national. It's either they speak to someone, they do a coalition, or it's going to be a very big problem for the ANC. You either agree to work with me, or you are scrapped from the history. You are no longer going to be that powerful party that we all knew. It is in the hands of Ramaphosa to make sure that before the election, something is done about such behaviors. Even the members of ANC are singing songs of Wenzeni Zuma. The lawlessness in the ANC, it shows you that people are sabotaging the ANC even from the inside because nobody believes that Ramaphosa is going to be the president beyond 29th of May 2024. We sit here and wait to see whether this is just something that we've been saying and ANC is still going to be the ruling party or whether there will be eggs on their foreheads and they will sit there in shame and say that we could have won this. Anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in. We're looking forward to a healthy weekend. Until next time. Cheers. <clears throat> I changed the tune after that. But but let's